Hi guys, welcome back. Scanning here we are off for more of Final Fantasy the Anniversary Edition in the last episode. We had many of an encounter in the Mirage Tower after going to Lufina to learn some languages. But we gained tons of items, tons of money, and with the warp cube, as well as the charm in order to access the uh, Mirage Tower in the first place, we were able to get to the Flying Fortress, where our second part of the Mirage Tower pretty much lies, and on our way to the Wind Crystal. And I'm looking pretty good right now, so at this point, I'm just going to push onwards. I want to go every direction other than up, I believe. So we'll go down first, as it's the quickest way to go through. And we should have new encounters, compared to what we had below. So let's just wait for the PSP to load, and that actually didn't take that long. That's not bad. Alright, so, uh, we got Death Knights now. Pretty much the same stuff that we were fighting in the previous area, but we've already got more upgraded enemies as such. But... We can still one-shot them, so that's not that big of an issue. Yes, those Death Knights, I believe, have, like, more... Uh, just more defense overall. I mean, we can check that right now, of course. Um, we had uh, Dark Knights before. So where were they? Ah, Black Knights. That's what they were called. Black Knights actually have, an op uh, have the opportunity to drop a Deathbringer as a rare drop. We didn't actually get that, sadly. So... Don't know what to say about that really, but now we've bumped into the Death Knights, which do not have an opportunity to drop. Wait, hang on a minute. 190 HP. Where is it? The Black Knights are easier! And they drop a rare item. These give more experience, but they're weaker. I'm just trying to see here. I mean the stats are higher on the Death Knight, except for the HP. And the Death Knights also give more experience, but they're a lot easier to take out. The Black Knights are better. Well, okay, I thought things were supposed to get one step, seriously. I thought things were supposed to get harder, not easier. There we go, Black Knights. What the hell? What was up with that? I'm very confused. As soon as we start the video, I get really confused. Wow, Daewoo. Pick up the pace a little. Alright, so I guess we're going to have to use some items this time. So let's use Thor's hammer and Zeus's gauntlets, because why not? We'll give them a shocking of their life. That's funny, actually. They're called Zeus's gauntlets in the original NES version, but in this version, they just shorten it the gauntlets. I don't know why. Oh, wait, oh, I know why, because the item is just called Zeus, and it's a gauntlet equipment. That might be why. Of course, they can actually fit in gauntlets this time. That might be the reason. Yeah, whatever. He's dead. Bloody hell, 7,200 gil. I don't think we need any of that money, since all the money that we got in the last episode. Hello, Eva Y. We fought you before. And you're dead. <laughs> Not entirely too sure if he was supposed to be a sequence encounter there, but that was pretty pathetic. Razor attempt, uh, obtained from the chest. That's a sword, right? Yes, it is. A saber that casts Scourge when used. That means that we pretty much have the opportunity to cast Scourge whenever we want to without using 28 MP. That is crazy. Who can equip it? Night Ninja Way Wizard. Does it actually have anything going for it if we equip it? No, it is quite weak. So, yeah, that's quite a find. If we just don't want to fight enemies, we can just slap that up. And it doesn't even cost us a penny. In magic. And you know what? I could go right now. So let's go try this out. Razor. Stand along the razor's edge. Don't look now, just keep your head or you'll be finished. Uh, yeah, I'll give it that. Let's do that for some minor healage. Only 40, really? They woo us better! It does like 60 a pop. Ow. Thanks. Fours have a heart. So wait, did... Oh, it didn't work at all. Okay, interesting. I didn't even notice the effect go off. I guess we'll just hit them normally then. Right, you're down. There's not really much else to say here. I just wanted to try out the weapon. That's why this battle is in this video. I would have cut it out otherwise. 
Oh, 9,000 gil. Can't go wrong with that much money. Right, now, that, don't want to go in there. I need to go left and right first. I, there's actually something I forgot to mention, even though it would have appeared as like a um, a little bit of text on the screen in the last episode. When we got the uh, Dragon Mail, even though it doesn't explicitly say in the game, it halves damage from fire, electric, and ice type attacks. Along with the defense that the Diamond Armor normally gives, so it's definitely better than the Diamond Armor. I've got, I just wanted to make that as apparent, verbally, even though it appeared as text on the screen, because I would have edited that in. Seven minutes into recording and I fought nothing but Black Knights. And for some reason that was a white flash returning me into the game, not a black... Fading. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. If it does that in dungeons or not. Alright, can I actually grab some stuff in here now? Another healing helm! We just got a healing helm in the Mirage Tower down below. We just picked up another healing helm already. A protect ring, that's nice. And another 5,000 gil. Uh, I believe I pressed triangle, that was weird. So let's have a look at that. So yes, we now have two healing helms and a healing staff. That means three of our party members can actually heal everybody and then one can attack. That's crazy. And that's all for nothing by the way, no MP whatsoever. Three heals as long as we're in battle. Protect ring? Uh, everyone has one, don't they? Yeah. Hmm. Came a bit late considering we could buy them at Gaia, but you know, it's good to have I guess. I mean we only need four because we only have four party members and that's all we will have. So that's just an extra one considering everyone already has one equipped so I guess I'll sell that. But if you are, if you do not have any or you're low on one and you do not have up to four, keep it. So that's all I can say on that really. There's not really much else to say. Now I need to go to the west. Can I actually fight something else other than Dark Knights please? There's like nothing but Dark Knights running around the place. Dark Knights, Black Knights, you know what I mean, it's Black Knights. Do I even have a Deathbringer? I don't think I do. That may be an item that probably casts, like, Death or something that's better than Razor, but... You know what? I should fight them all every time I bomb into them. That was two steps! And as soon as I say, please give me something different, we do actually have something different. We have an L Elemental here, as well as a Spirit Naga. This one has a green face. Some elementals are more weak to physical attacks than anything else, so I will give one of those attacks a physical bashing. Um, let's go for Force Hammer and... Major Staff. I keep using these weapons to not, like, waste magic and whatnot, but they're not doing a lot of damage to these enemies. They're quite high up in their levels. It was enough to take that thing out, though, but then again, Sword was already attacked it. Yeah, th that area elemental is resisting that quite well, but look at the physical damage. I don't know if that was due to the ice tap or the ice brand, but that's a thing. But we got a level out of it. So, Zess gained 33 HP. That's the highest HP he's ever gotten so far. Minimum MP, though. Sorba gained 5 HP, 3 MP. Come on, Sorba. That's like, that's a waste of a level up. And luck increased. One stat boost, and the other two didn't get anything. Wow. Flow gained 6 HP, 8 MP, and intelligence increased, that's good. Uh, Dewu gained uh, 26 HP, 21 MP, wow, they're quite high. Okay, that was a mixed level up from across the field right there. And another Spirit Naga, but you know what, you're dead. Oh, wow, he lived that! Okay, well, at least Sorbon and Zest attack one after another, so... Whatever at this point. Oh, come on! I was hoping for the item drop there, to be fair. 7,900. 4,150. A potion? Really? <laughs> okay. And 9,900. Well, that's all the chests on this floor. Whoa, manticores. Hello. Um, did we fight manticores before? No, they were sphinxes, weren't they? They were sphinxes, I think. So, we'll major staff on that. And we will also... Hmm. Gauntlets, why not? I feel like going electrical here. That was 420! Let's blaze it, shall we? Oh my god, that can poison everybody! What is this? The bio spell for Final Fantasy VI or something? Wow, I did nothing. Okay, they resist fire. So let's see what Zeus's electrical prowess does. It does decent, yeah. Fire didn't do a lot at all. They resist that pretty well. Hey, we got a tent for it! 
Like that doesn't, like that matters at this point. Oh, that doesn't matter, I can't words. I think the problem that comes, oh, there we go, stuttering my voice, my words again, because I knew what I was going to say. I think the problem with my, with my speech patterns when it comes to RPGs is that because of battles, it's so fragmented. Oh, this is an encounter space, because I just stepped on this space on the way through, and this is the exact same battle. Okay, then. Well, you're a dick, but the effect it doesn't actually show for you guys. That's a thing. I feel like they should. Because when we use Blink, we have, like, a faded image behind us. Which doesn't really trick the enemy that much, does it? God damn, all these spirit nuggets. I feel like these one th this is also an encounter space. If I feel like it's an encounter space, I will keep it in. Even if it isn't, it's just how I see. Plus, that was super easy to get through. But yeah, we don't have staircases this time. We have warps. So, it doesn't, make, it doesn't have to make sense in the uh, grand scheme of the design. Even though we went north, we're heading back to the middle anyway. So, I believe I want to go in all directions other than down? I'm trying to remember how I did things before myself. Hello, Evil Eye. We don't see you that often, so I'll just stab you in the eye and we're good to go. <laughs> what are these enemies? What level are we right now? Level 38. Wow, we're getting there. Cottage. And myth another Mithril Hill. Well, that's pointless. That's something else to sell, I guess. Still haven't sold my stuff, but then again, I am planning to go to um, a store and buy stock up on tons of items, because we've just been running on all these items recently, and yet we haven't been using them at all since early game. So, because right at that point, we didn't have magic to spare. Or ethers at that point. As soon as we got ethers, I've never even used those that often. Uh, what was I going to do in it? Status, that's it. 7-7. Seven, seven. Ugh, they can't, still can't learn level 8 magic, so that's annoying. Alright, let's get out of this place. Right, that was not a random, uh, a forced encounter for that evil eye. But, he moved down here, so I'm just going to stab him in the eye anyway. Wow, 460! Good lord! I mean, I know he's an undead enemy, and that's what the... Is that what, is that what the, uh... Ah, wrong button. I want to go quickly. Is that what the Sunblade says? Yeah, offensive against, effective against the undead, so yeah, that is true. Right, let's go down to this room instead. That was just one Chimera, so I didn't think we needed to show that off. Considering he attacked first and did a blaze, so that's a thing. I could just tell you. That had to load for a moment there, and we have Earth Medusas. New enemies, and I believe a sequenced encounter space. So, that's a thing. Let's, uh... I think it's slow here, actually. You know what? I'm gonna slap a heal with this guy. With a healing helm. You can do a healing helm as well, because I don't think Medusas are affected by light attacks. Uh, what have we got down here? Screw it! Let's Blizzarga these guys. I mean, they're Earth Medusas. What are Earth enemies doing in a wind area? That's a question. Aren't these guys supposed to be in the cavern of Earth? That would make more sense. Oh no. Oh, thank god. Petrify is not the same as death, even though we all have protect rings, so we can't get one shot, which is very nice. Well, by that spell anyway, by death and scourge and stuff like that. Wow, they kind of resisted that quite a bit, but it was enough to take them out at least. Whew, alright, let's open that and just claim all that money! And just flee with our lives. Oh! Okay. Wasn't expecting you guys to stalk me after I knocked you guys down, but alright. Uh, you know what? Let's, uh, do some sweet heals here. Healing staff. Let's make good on what I was actually talking about when we got the healing helm. Because I'm going to use the Healing Staff, Healing Helm, and another Healing Helm, and then Daewoo can uh, bring the pain with... Okay, so Mazaga didn't do a lot last time. They're Earth, so Thunder Guy going to do a lot. I'm going to just try Fire Ogre this time. Plus, it's the cheapest of the three powerful spells. The basic spells, I guess you could say. The Elemental Type. Plus, this is helping our little uh, HP predicament. Wow, Sorba didn't do any. I think Zest did less, though. Don't. Good. It's weird, because some enemies have, like, a gaze that does an electrical thing. Oh, okay, then all attacks do that, then. 
But some people also have a gaze that turns you to stone, and normally Medusa is known for like, oh, if you look in her, in her eyes, even if she's dead, it will turn you to stone, and yep, fire was definitely their weakness there. I guess earth is more grass than gravel, grass than ground type. Fair play. Right, let's go up this one this time, I kind of bailed on this one before. Another single chimera, nothing too dramatic, uh, I want to plan my route. Good. Diamond gloves! I don't think we had diamond gloves before, did we? And I'm pretty sure only the knight can equip it. Yep, only the knight. Oh, is that going to be better than the protect ring, though? No! Okay! Riddle me this. Why would a protect ring be available on the previous floor, and then on the very next floor you give me an item that has the exact same defense, but is two points heavier, and does not protect me from death. With enemies that can literally cast death on me. Infesting this floor. That is just money, you might as well just give me ten grand. Just saying, that's my thought process here. Because everyone can, can equip a protect ring anyway, and only a knight can equip a diamond gloves. But, if everyone can equip with a protect ring, and it's better in all possible ways than a diamond glove, and I can buy the Protect Ring two dungeons? No, not even two. Three dungeons ago? In um, counting the Citadel Trial. No, not counting the Citadel Trials. Counting the Waterfall Cave. And you can find one in there, I believe? No, you can find a ribbon in there. Either or. Basically, there is no need for the diamond gloves to be here. There is no need. It's just more money. You might as well just give me ten grand. Just saying. That's my thought process. I just don't understand that. Hello, Manticores! I'm trying not to keep in too many battles, but we don't see, we're not seeing these enemies that often, so it's like... I don't know, at this point... I'm just gonna go for another Healing Helm, and you can... You know what, just uh, get your magic out again, and let's uh, fire the ball. That might be their weakness. Well, yeah, no, ice could be their weakness, because the... Zest physical attacks doing enough. Hey, come on! <laughs> I'm already poisoned. You can't poison me again. Zest is silver is probably thinking. It's like, where did you get off trying to poison me twice? Dead. Yeah, there we go. That was enough. Do -do 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 -do. Right. We have tons of antidotes. Oh, actually, no, we don't have tons of antidotes. We're running low. Screw it. We don't use our items that often. I'm going to use them. I'm going to restock later on anyway. Uh, yep, right, onwards. Haven't been in here yet. Oh my god, so many chests. That was four manticores again, and I just ran. But you know what makes me laugh? Why does the character ha that ha technically has the most luck, and is built for to have the highest luck of all the pipe members in the game, always get the, the worst luck in the game? I mean, look at this! 26, 38, 17, 19. And yet, Sorba is always the one who gets picked on for both status problems and just getting hit in general. And wow, we're like right next door to another level up. Look at this nonsense. That's crazy. We're getting tons of experience in here. I didn't even pay attention. I should have done that battle. Oh well. Uh, another antidote. Habuski. Stab that in your arm. Or however you administer it. I don't know. Diamond shield. Hmm. And a ribbon. That's not bad. That's actually really good. What am I saying? It must be crazy to think that's just not bad. But we got a diamond shield here. What does that say? Shield made of diamond. Hmm. The egg. Again, we got the egg shield as soon as we entered, and then you're giving me something that's worse. The egg shield guards against stone, so Zest can't be killed by any one hit KO spell or by anything that would pretty much stone him, like gaze from the Medusas. And yet, then. Literally five floors in the exact same dungeon slash area later, technically it's the second dungeon, but you have to go through one to get to the next one immediately. Five floors later, you give me a, a, a shield that is the exact same stats wise, but doesn't give me any protection from any stat problem. But earlier, I got an Egger shield that is basically better than what you just gave me right now, five floors later. This is exactly what I just said before with the diamond gloves. What is the point? You gave me something better literally a couple of floors back. And they can be equipped by anybody. 
What? Where is the... Well, okay, the Eggers Shield can only be equipped by a knight, but so can only the Diamond Shield. So, I don't see the logic. Why would I equip the worst stuff? It outright tells me. I mean, okay, the Dragon Mail doesn't outright tell me. That is a, a legit complaint. It just says it's made from Dragon Scales. But if you put your mind in, in, into it and say that, oh, it's made by mystical Dragon Scales, Dragons are like all elements, the three basic elements, that's what it halves damage of. It halves damage from fire, ice, and electric attacks. But in this case, the game don't tell you that. For all the items that it's just given me now, it has. And that's another thing. The Dragon Mail came after the Diamond Armor, so technically you would think, even though that the stats say the same, it's going to be better anyway, which technically it is. But for these two items, the Diamond... The, well, what was it? The Diamond Gloves with the Protect Ring and the Eggers Shield with the Diamond Shield, it's been flipped. Why? I'm not going to equip them. They're useless. I'm just worried. I, it may sound like I'm complaining and like nitpicking here and there, Yes, it's an old game or whatnot, but if it's going to be, like, equipment that you're going to be equipping, why would you have the worst stuff? I mean, maybe in the original you wouldn't know, so it's experimental, but that's also player hostile. They've they've balanced the game here. You could easily change a couple of items around, and it would have been a lot better and more streamlined anyway. Because here, we can see where, they, where they've gone wrong in the original, but they haven't fixed that issue. I'm not complaining because I can sell them for more money, but you might as well just give me a chest worth that money anyway. You see what I'm saying? Anyway, so that's game to level. 8 HP, 3 MP. That's why I left this battle in, because we checked 99 experience next level. So we gained 5 HP, 15 MP. There we go. Flo gained 6 HP and 18 MP. And Daewoo gained 4 HP and 11 MP. Alright. That was, once again, quite mixed. Sorry for the rant, but that's just my thoughts. I feel like I haven't made any progress at all, yet we're already 27 minutes into this video. And I can understand the encounter rate being quite high here, because these areas are very small. The only thing annoying me right now with the random encounters is that they're kind of eating up my time a bit. Black robe! <gasps> I think this is what I was thinking of! Remember when I was talking- Oh my god, we're getting both at the same time. I completely forgot about that. Okay. You might be thinking, oh, these are like the, emo like the ultimate stuff with a white wizard and black wizard. Mm, well... White robe! Casts Invisera when used. This is why I kept saying throughout the entire Let's Play that I was not buying Invisera for my White Mage. Because we will have an infinite use of it that everyone can that can cast to anyone. And yes, only the White Wizard can equip it, but we don't want to. That is invaluable for dodging magic attacks. Making it so that they miss a, bit, a lot more if possible. And a Black Robe casts Bizarra when used, which is also very nice. So that anyone can cast that for ice damage without spending any magic. But yeah, like I said, I haven't got, I've only got Invis for one allies invasion. I haven't got it for everybody. And now I do, and that is super helpful. But we might as well see how good they do anyway. I mean, armor here. Um, one point of evasion lowered. Understandable, it's not an armlet, it's a robe. You have to wear the whole thing on your body. But yeah. One point of evasion compared to the ruby, ruby omelet, and yet, if we keep it de-equipped, we can take advantage of the spell as well. So there we go. Diamond omelet is better than the um, ruby omelet anyway, so this will be a fool's errand to equip. So there we go. And yeah, so... Oh wait, no, is the ruby omelet better than the diamond? It probably is. So far. You might think that diamond is really good, but no. It's rubbish. Did I go down this way? No, I didn't. And, of course, I like how I blank out thinking, have I gone down this way yet? And no. Be why would I think that? Because this sprite is not even a chest. And, if you want, well, in the original game, versions of the game anyway, where it didn't have the Dawn of Souls dungeons, which means GBA onwards was what I'm covering. If you're playing any of the older versions, this will probably lead to the best equipment that a knight can ever get. You obtain Adamantite. Back at the beginning of the game, before we even had a chance to go for the first crystal, remember Mount Durgar, where all the dwarves lived? The smith said if he had stone like Anamantite, he could make one of the best weapons ever. We have that ore. We can make a uh, legendary weapon. But 
because we're almost through this place, I think we're going to leave that for next time. And when I mean next time, I mean get out of this dungeon, which is what I'm trying to do if these battles would let me. Huh, I'm running from every battle now. <laughs> I don't know why. I can't think I'm just getting burned out on just fighting every enemy at this point. There's a robot there. There's a robot. Right, let me talk to you. From this observation window, you can look out on the entire world. Alright then, let's do that. If the game would let me. Don't tell me to do something and then not let me. The observation window looks out upon the world. The four forces of fire, earth, water and wind appear as a mist converging on a single point. A point at the centre of the four altars. This must be the location of the Chaos Shrine. So there's the world map, way better than what we have. That just shows how high we are. And apparently the centre of the entire map is the Carol Shrine. Interesting. Maybe we have to go back there at some point. Right, I'm trying to remember. Where is my exit? It's like an offshoot or something, isn't it? Oh, hello, Vampire Lord. Uh, greetings, Dracula. Bugger off. <laughs> oh my god, who needs the Vampire Slayer Whip when you just have the Sunblade? Alright, whatever. I've, yeah. Um. Oh. Okay. Um, didn't we not face these when we were like level 15? In the Earth Cave? I feel like we did. You know what? Why should I spend magic on you when I could just use the Black Road? Hey! Block it with the Enya Shield. It's like a mirror shield, but this time it actually has like a rim on the out on the outer edge. Wow. What was the point of putting these enemies here anyway? But yeah, I believe that the exit is literally like in a diagonal offshoot from where we just entered this floor. Oh great, Zest's been slowed. That means his physical attack is gonna be halved and he'll move last, I believe. He'll move late, later than he should. Yeah, look at that! One hit! He was reduced from six to one! That is devastating. Don't let that happen. Oh, come on! Two steps! <sighs> Bloody fire hydras, get out of my face! I mean, I know you're new, but... It's really aggravating when I just knock out a bunch of easy enemies, and then you just take two steps later, and if it's even if it's a, like a forced encounter space or not, it's still quite aggravating, to be fair. Right, let's use... Oh, the background's all going to be an effect. All right. Um... Eh, gauntlets, why not? Got loads of stuff to sell. It's crazy. That shouldn't do a lot. Yeah, it didn't do a lot at all. Funny how that the, um... The dragon armor halves fire, ice, and thunder attacks on Zest, and yet he's taking all the like the same amount of damage as everyone else. I'm guessing because his intellect is not exactly the best, he doesn't have the mo the highest defense for magic defense or something. Then again, he's a knight, so it's all physical, so that may also be a reason. While a ninja does have some mystical properties to him, so that may help. And we got a red fang. Okay, that is actually pretty cool. I believe a red fang is a single-use fire attack. Yeah, cast fire. But it, this time it's a consumable, not like the, uh, what is it, the Major Staff? Yeah, the Major Staff. That's, the Major Staff is infinite use, but a Red Fang is not. It's a single use. I'm guessing if you miss the Major Staff, then you would have to rely on those, but I don't know where you can buy them. I think you just have to farm them. Analyzing time at no known weakness. Well, at least we can check these computers. Oh, they all say the same thing. That's not helpful. Might be why they're red. Alright, let's hurry this up, please. We've got literally one uh, more floor to go through, I think. To be fair, if I do have one more... Wait, what floor are we on? Third floor. I think I'm going to finish off this floor, and then I'll end off the video, because I've got loads of cutting to do, and yet I'm already 36 minutes into the video. Well, into the recording, anyway. There's nothing in here but computers. Oh, and hello! There's a party in here. You know what? I don't want to be a part of it. I will take my leave, and I will have a good day. Right, so that was a waste of time. So let's get back out of here. I'm not too sure if I've actually fought a Rucker Shark. If I bomb into it again, I will fight him. And that's apparently all I'm fighting right now. The last battle was four of them, and I didn't want to deal with that, but then I just thought, hang on, have I fought these things before? I think I fought, like, more dullish green ones. These ones are, like, more proper green. 
The problem with like color swaps and most of the enemies just being more powerful versions, you're not exactly sure what you thought or what you haven't, especially in RPGs. In like, it's because like you're they're scaling with your level effectively, or they're trying to. I think that could be part of the problem. Uh, the exit's on this little offshoot over here, isn't it? Yeah, the exit's right there. Because the one to the right of us in the middle of this entire floor is the one we came from. Four stone golems, I'm not dealing with you guys. We got 4150 gill, a gold needle, 3400G, and Sasuke's blade. Well, I didn't know this game was related to Naruto, what's going on here? Ah, it's just an average Japanese, probably an average Japanese name, I'm guessing. that Obviously they're used for like, Naruto and stuff. But, um, yeah, that obviously sounds like a Japanese name, so a ninja would make more sense to equip that. A small katana used by ninja. Doesn't mean that in Naruto, Sasuke uses the Sasuke. I swear that name had a different, that his blade had a different name, and it was not a katana. It's like a more straight blade, with no hilt. Anyway, um, let's uh, equip that, see what it does, and yeah, it's literally one point higher than the Sunblade. I mean, yes, we're going against quite a few undead enemies, especially the, uh, the uh, evil eye, but considering that this is an exclusive eye, a weapon that only the ninja can equip, and it's better than the Sunblade in raw power, I am going to equip it to Sorba, and I'm going to replace the Ice Brand with the Sunblade on Zest. This does mean that Zest has actually overtaken Sorba now in terms of raw attack power, but Sorba still does more attacks than Zest every time he actually does an attack, so it's like he does more hits than Zest, so his attacks still gonna be higher regardless. So, whatever. Kinda evens it out. We gotta go north now. Once I go north, I think I'm gonna end off this video. I need a heal. Just slap one of those on, that'll do. I think I'm getting lazy of using um, the healing helms and staffs in battle. Especially when it's an easy battle, but yeah, that literally just brought us all back to full health effectively, so that was worth a Hilaga. And we've got more chests. 4,450. Another potion, okay. 9,000. And another protect ring. That's two protect- Okay, you give me a protect ring, then diamond gloves that I'm never going to equip on the night because of the protect ring I was just given. And then you give me another protect ring. Logic. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's nice to have another protect ring, because you may not equip it to your knight, but now it's basically saying, if you haven't done it, equip it to your knight. Hel <laughs> Hello there, the little robot! What's going on today? <laughs> Alright then, the one little soldier dude here. Wow, he does a lot of damage for a little guy. Or at least we saw the uh, Sasuke's blade in use there. Wow, um, I feel bad for that little robot. <laughs> Did I go this way? I'm pretty sure there wasn't- Oh yeah, there is a room over here, dang it. I thought I was done with this floor, but I'm not. And we got another six chests, wow. You know what I like about this game? It makes you feel powerful almost all the time because of all the stuff you get. I mean, look at that, protect cloak. What does that do? Probably the same thing as the robes, perhaps. So let's see, we have a white robe, which is Vizera, a black robe, which is Blazara. Where's the, uh, oh wait, where is it? Is it a single use item? No. Uh, where's the cloak? Oh, it's a shield! <gasps> I completely forgot about this! A large cloak worn over armor! Everyone other than the monk and the master can equip it. They're the ones that just fight with bare hands and nunchucks. So yeah, they kind of get the shaft on this weapon, but then again, they don't equip anything, so whatever, right? But... Yeah. Protect Cloak. It's not as good as the Ace Shield, but it's pretty decent. It's not... Uh, actually, hang on. How is the Cloak heavier than a Shield? Interesting. But yeah, kind of a downgrade to Sorba and Zest. However, everyone else but Monks can equip it, which is awesome. And Daewoo actually has more defense. Alright then, I guess you'll have it then. You don't have as much defense as Daewoo, but it's pretty much up there. So that means Flo can actually block attacks with her cloak. She can actually have a chance to block on oncoming attacks. And she has a bit of a defense boost. She is now for once fully equipped, and it only took us the fourth crystal dungeon in order to get through. Or shall I say, the crystal maze. That's actually come back actually. That's actually pretty good. 
not the best, it's not as good as the original, but hey, it's back. Why game? Uh, that's not even worth a penny, come on. Why? Why would you put that there? It's like, oh god, we need to make this room symmetrical, but I don't know what to put in there. I'll just chuck in the first item in the list. Cloves. That makes me laugh, but at the same time it makes me wince. Oh. We had the Guardian before, but we didn't. We had the Soldier before as well. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? You both can wail on that guy. And then we're gonna do this. Force Hammer to short circuit them. And then we'll use the Major Staff to melt their outer shell, I guess. This will probably be the final bat match I'm leaving in. How am I at 45 minutes in this video? I ain't done three floors. We just literally finished this floor. Alright, get out of my face. I just need to get to the next floor. No more encounters, please. I need to book it. Really? I was halfway there and you had to go and do that. Oh, really? No! Why? You guys, you knew. You guys knew. You wanted to just come out of that room from the south and just block my way. Oh, good. Right. Black road. And you know what? I'm not taking any flipping chances with these buggers. I'm just gonna... Uh, no, Fiaga, and burn your butts. Thanks. You guys are a waste of time, and a waste of space. He can actually be affected by that. Oh, boy. Because the protect ring doesn't do that. I never equipped the ribbon! What am I doing? I picked up that ribbon, and I completely forgot to equip it. I just realised. Uh... Can we get through this battle, please? Thank you, Daewoo. Jeez, pick up the pace. I need to equip that ribbon. That could have been bad. Blocks everything. Uh. You got the ribbon. You got a ribbon. Uh, you can have a ribbon, I guess. Yeah, it lowers your defense a little, but you know what? It blocks everything. I'd rather have the ribbon. Alright, that's now sorted out. And yes, this is... Oh, wait, this is actually a very small floor. Actually, yes, I better end off the episode now completely because if things don't have don't go well, I might bump into an optional boss. I just thought of that, and I'm not too sure if I want to fight it. I might. It's actually harder than the final boss at the moment. Just thought of that. If you guys have played the game before, you know. But if not, in the next episode, guys, hopefully we won't bump into that thing. Knowing the LP curse, it probably might sprout up though. And we will go. Fight, time it, and restore the final crystal to grace. See you guys then.